Hello everyone, I thought I would review Our Mutual Friend by Charles Dickens, which I just finished. Now this was Dickens' last completed novel, and it certainly is a long one. It's uh, 850 pages, which is probably why it took me uh, nearly five months to finish it. I've been reading it since September. In fact, it took me so long that usually after I finish a book, I feel a sense of sorrow because I'm sorry to leave the characters, but in this case, I'm actually quite happy uh, to leave the book. Um, not because I thought it was a bad book, it was a fairly good book. Now this will be, um, I think, the fifth Dickens book that I've read, if you count A uh, Christmas Carol. There's A Christmas Carol, I, re I read that first, then, then Great Expectations, then A Tale of Two Cities, then Hard Times, and, th and now Our Mutual Friend. And, oh, oh well, well, technically the sixth book, because I also read The Mystery of Edwin Drood, which is not a complete uh, book, so, so if you count that one, then this is technically the sixth book that I've read. But overall, I thought this was a, a, a good book, uh, not my favorite of Dickens, but there, of course there were patches of poetic brilliance, like always by Dickens, and uh, the plot, which is... It's always very difficult for me to, to explain the plot in, in, in reviews, but uh, this especially because there are a lot of characters uh, in this book, uh, far too many that, uh, to keep up with, but, but there are several different plots going on at the same time, but the stories uh, primarily revolve around two different characters, uh, uh, one named Lizzie and another named uh, um, Bella, and the story basically begins when um, this character named John Harmond uh, supposedly uh, dies uh, in in, uh, in 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 uh, the, the the Bay of London, and his and his body is found, and then and, and because of that, um, his fortune goes to these to, to this couple called uh, the, called the Bobbins, and they basically take possession of his estate. But then there's this character named Bella, who um, originally was supposed to marry John Harmon, but then she, but, but she ends up basically living with the Boffins at, at their, their estate, and then, and then there's this other character who becomes, a mysterious character who becomes their secretary, and I can't really say more than, any more than that, because, um, because eventually you learn that not all is as it seems, and that storyline, though, personally, was not as interesting to me as the storyline involving, uh, uh, Lizzie Hexham, I believe was, was her name, who, uh, who was um, the daughter of the guy who found uh, the body of John Harmon, but then he ends up dying, of the, and she ends up being helped by this lawyer named uh, Eugene Wayburn, but then he, but then she's also being pursued by this school t teacher named uh, Bradley Hartstone, and uh, who becomes obsessed with her, and eventually, he, he, I mean, violently obsessed, uh, and that's probably the most interesting storyline, the storyline that I enjoyed uh, reading the most, um, and, and and I would say that storyline is pretty solid. Some of the others I didn't, I didn't, I didn't like as much. Um, for example, a lot of the drama in the book turns out to be fake, um, and, and therefore you're kind of disappointed because a lot of things that seemed to have meaning uh, ultimately didn't have meaning later on, and therefore I was kind of disappointed by that. But overall, the book the book has a very rich world. There's a lot of atmosphere in the book. So overall, I enjoyed reading Our Mutual Friend. Not as much as some of the other books, but this is still a solid read, and I wouldn't recommend necessarily starting with this if you're just if you're just getting involved with Dickens, but but after you've read three or four Dickens books, I, I would say go ahead and, and read this because you'll be ready for